Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring the Canterbury. The Canterbury is out here at Carteret RV in Cedar Point, North Carolina, and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get into it. All right, this pretty home right here is the Canterbury. Love, love, love this two-story uh, tiny home. Can't get around to really show you all the details of the home. But I'll slide over here and kind of show you from the side. Again, this is the Canterbury. As you can see the name on the top right there. This is a beautiful tiny home out at Carteret RV in Cedar Point, North Carolina. And this home is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna walk in the sliding glass doors. This home sliding glass door here, and then they have the front door up there. Really nice. Beautiful, lots of light in these houses, you guys. A lot of windows, so you have a lot of light coming into these homes. Now, this is your living room. What I like about the living room in this home is I love the neutral tone and I love the, what do you call this? I'll put it on the screen. I love this. Absolutely love it. Really nice. Love the shape of the windows. Makes the tall ceilings look even taller in here. Love the transom windows at the top and you have a ceiling fan in here. See how tall? That window is really nice. So you got a lot of space to do what you need to do in this living room. Really beautiful. Love the light color floors as well. I'm standing over here in the living room looking into the kitchen. Really beautiful. Love the sliding glass door. Here's an example of having a curtain up to the sliding glass door so you can close it in the evening for privacy. These homes are have can light all throughout which i love the look of that in a home so really nice really nice again that is your living room now i know you're wondering where to put the tv so i'm going to spin around and show you this area here is a fireplace that's right you have a fireplace in your tiny home you have space for your electronics here and then you can put a really nice size TV for this home. I could see a 50 inch TV right there. So really nice. This is off to the side. You have mounts that you can uh, mount your TV where it'll swivel. And I think that would be perfect right here. Or you can sit it up there. So really nice. So that is your TV area. And that'll help you determine how you place your furniture in this home. So really nice, really nice. Now let's get into the kitchen. You have your kitchen over here. You've got counter space here. You could put two bar stools at this counter space. This also could be additional space for prepping your food. I love, love, love. This comes out of the counter and you could hide it when you don't need it and pull it up. When you do, you've got outlets there and you've got USB there if you need it. So really nice, really nice. Love the backsplash in here. This is glass, absolutely love it. Beautiful, how beautiful is that? You've got frosted glass on this upper cabinet. Really a nice look. And I love that the cabinets kind of mirror the walls really beautiful you've got cabinet space and drawer space in this kitchen you guys and you know what i like about these homes it's cabinet space everywhere look at there you got cabinet space everywhere storage space everywhere you got your refrigerator over here and then you've got your stove and microwave here and lots of cabinet space the backsplash extends to the uh to the stove area, really lovely. You've also, next to your refrigerator, you also have 
additional storage space here. You've got the sliders. You've got three sliders in that cabinet. And then you've got three sliders in that cabinet. Y'all, these rubber bands are so that these cabinets don't open in transit. When we got our mobile home, it was full of them. <laughs> so beautiful, beautiful. That is your kitchen. That's your faucet. Again, you've got an all-in-one in this home. Really nice. Double sinks. You've got a, a window in here for even more light. Beautiful. Beautiful home. So that is your kitchen. So far, we've seen the living room and we've seen the kitchen area. Really beautiful. Now we're gonna travel upstairs and see what it looks like, okay? Really nice. So this is your stairs behind the TV area. You've got three steps here. The first two are not carpet. The landing is carpet and then the other ones are not carpet. I like that. You have carpet upstairs. You could actually do two bedrooms up here if you wanted, if you had needed the space. Really nice. So you've got this area, this loft area here. You've got a closet there, and you've also got a closet here. Beautiful. Then you have all the space on this side. You have additional closet space and cabinet space right there. Really nice. Look at all the windows up here, you guys. Beautiful. So this is one area. Really nice. You got your, I hate to pop the uh, rubber band. I'm not gonna pop it, because when they go to move this house, they're gonna need to have those areas secure. But you got closet space there, and you got more closet space here. You woo, love it. So this is your upstairs. How beautiful is that? Huh? How beautiful is that? All of this is your upstairs. You got your vents in the floor for your AC. Now your AC package would be separate. Make sure you call Greg out here at Carteret RV for questions. Another thing I wanted to point out though, is do you see that? This could actually be, if this was a, if you use this upstairs as a bedroom, this could be the upstairs person's little living room area and there's space there for a TV, to mount a TV, okay? You can have your computer area, your office area up here, whatever you chose to, to do. But I wanted to point that out. So you're already prepared upstairs. Really nice. So we're going to head back downstairs. I'm backing down, you guys. Really nice. So all of that is your upstairs area. And then through the kitchen, you got your front door to the left. This is your front door, okay? And then across from the front door, you've got your bathroom, you've got your toilet straight ahead. You've got a sink there, counter space, cabinet space, up, up and down. Lots of cabinet space here. You've got four shelves in there, and then you've got cabinet space underneath. You've got a towel hook here. The backsplash has been extended from the kitchen, love it. There are your plugs. This frosted window actually opens. Really nice. Really nice. And then you've got a nice tub and shower in the bathroom. Beautiful. 
That's the bomb right there. A tub and a shower. Okay. That alone would sell me on the house in addition to the extra space upstairs. Very nice. When you walk in the front door, you've got the storage space. It's oh, I didn't mean to do that. You got two shelves here and you've got extra space there. And I'm assuming the bottom, yep, the bottom is the same. So lots more. Can you see the, the pattern for storage in this house? It is so much storage in this home. Beautiful. Now this is the, I call it the main bedroom. So here's your bedroom here. That looks like a full or a queen bed, but you've got space on either side. I think a king could fit in there. Your nightstands and, and uh, outlets on either side of the bed. Your night light is actually like a wall sconce, which is really pretty. And then you have all of the storage space above. Really nice. This is probably your utility. Yeah, that's your electric box right there. Really nice. Again, a nightstand and a wall outlet huge window that opens from the side and then you've got all of this space for your clothes you got your closet up here both of them have mirrors and you have all of this drawer and cabinet space in here you also have space for a tv like this is the ultimate setup you guys this is the ultimate setup like me walton hurt could do this okay really nice so that is your bedroom really pretty really really beautiful love it all right you guys again this is the canterbury i absolutely love this tiny home it's so beautiful and i hope you enjoyed this tour this tour this home is home only price is ninety six thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars now, if you love this home and you want to add the AC package, be sure to let Greg and Carteret RV know. All his information is in the, in the description box. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.